Hey everyone, Steve again uh, with another Unity Asset Store review. Today we are going to be reviewing the Polygon Dungeon Realms pack by Cintiq Studios. At the time of recording this, uh, this asset retails for $199.99 USD, so $200 bucks USD. Um, let's go over the ratings overview, uh, my general acceptance criteria. So quality, it passes just like every other Polygon Cinti Studios asset I've done. Uh, they're, they cram a lot of fidelity into their you know Polygon series and the quality on them is good. So that absolutely passes. Modularity and workability. Um, this asset uh, runs in the same category or it, it it it's the it's of the same caliber in my opinion as for example the um uh the ancient empires pack or the horror uh, mansion pack the, it's how modularity is supposed to be done they did a really good job on making stuff modular in here and giving you the set pieces the individual set pieces to just build whatever the hell you want to build um and they give you a lot of clutter as well. So I'll, 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 there's there's four demo scenes, but there's no asset manifest scene. I'm going to try to run through the uh, four demo scenes and point out the really pertinent stuff and just sort of give an overview. And then we'll go into at least one of the demo scenes in editor mode, and I'll sort of point out how they um, how they how they sort of did that, or you know how how the modular pieces in there matter. Support and serviceability, again, Cintiq Studios tends to always support their 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 customers at you know post purchase, so they of course get a pass on that and value. Um, so it's a it, it's two hundred bucks. Uh, you get a lot in this pack. I mean, a lot and a lot of variety to make like all sorts of different types of dungeons and stuff like that. So I do think that the value is there. But be, you know, I guess as an individual, make your own decisions. Um, th this is getting to be like this pack is getting into the pretty expensive end of things. Now, Cinti Studios does run sales pretty often. In fact, when I'm at the time of recording this, I, I believe the winter sale is still going on. Um, so I think this one's 50% off, uh, which kind of makes it a no brainer. Um, but but yeah, you know, 200 bucks is a lot. I do think that the value is there, though, for just the sheer variety of what you get. Um, so I gave it a pass on that as well. Um, so let's hop right into gameplay. Uh, the first scene that we have is sort of a desert like oops, rundown temple desert scene. Um, all these guys are all modularized, these like ruined wall pieces. Um, so we can go up there. Like you'll see that there's scaffolding and stuff like that up there. Um, I'm not going to run up there right now because uh, there's not a lot to see aside from you can see there's some FX going on there. Um, but those pieces up there, we're going to be able to see over here as well. So. But all these rock formations, there's some cool rock formations in here actually too, but all these come with the asset. Um, there's this little spire thing. Uh, um, and then there is a downward spire over here. Right here. So the thing I will say is this piece, the stairwell, staircase piece is separate, but this, the rest of this piece, the rest of this like downward spire is not, that's all one piece. So, well, you can pull these stair, these staircase out, um, uh, the rest of that is not um, uh, modularized. There are these bone pieces, these are all individual, you can scale these up and down to make some cool stuff. There's these things, um, sort of both things. These are not modular, unfortunately. Um, these are also not modular. These little uh, uh, like abodes, 
for lack of a better term. These, however, are. These little individual scaffolding units are modularized. Um, some pots and stuff like that, but there's a lot more of those once we get into the other the other uh, demo levels. There's some chests and stuff like that. Um, not a lot to show over here because unfortunately a lot of this stuff, aside from the scaffolding units, are not modularized. So I'm just going to show it real quick. Now, I do think you get enough of these things where you can do some cool stuff with them as well. So even though they're not modular, that's still something you can do. There's a little bit of Rampart stuff here. These are like pseudo modularized. So these stairs though are fully modularized. Um, so like, I think it cuts off right around the pillar. So that piece is all one. That piece up there is another set of those. And then they have a couple of brick walls underneath them to sort of round out the, um, sort of round it out. Uh, <clears throat> these pieces up here are all modularized. All of these, all of these are modular. Um, Obviously, you saw their mantling works. The doors are modular. Um, you'll see these statue guys inside as well. This piece right here is not, but the accents, these adornments, as you'll see in the next scenes, are. So um, let's, let's actually do this first because this is this has the least amount of things. I'm not going to break this one down individually, <laughs> but uh, this is supposed to be like a hell sort of thing. These spikes are individual and you can build out stuff with them. And then the skulls are individual. So you can sort of do cool stuff with that. And there's, there's some FX in this one, uh, like that portal FX, kind of a cool uh, asset. There's a couple of other, um, like the smoke there, or some, fu some fire stuff. But this is really, this guy is like the most unique set piece in here, the demon looking dude um, in the portal to hell there. So. We are going to go into, uh, we're going to do this one next. Now the lighting and part of this level, actually two parts of this level are a little screwy. So just bear that in mind. I haven't really figured out or cared to figure that out. But um, now we're starting to get into, so there's a lot of weapons. There's, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six different spears in here. Um, there's a lot of swords and axes and stuff as well. So there's a lot of mod like, like not modularized, but those are individual set pieces that you can just use individually if you would like to. So a lot of statues, um, these banners and stuff are all modular. The walls are all modularized. So in the same way that some of their other ones were where they just take wall chunks, those are modularized. All those adornments, those like symbols are all modularized as well. Uh, the floor pieces and the wall and the, the wall the um uh these guys here the uh what are they called um the banisters those are also modularized you've got a couple variants like the broken ones here so you can really do some cool ruined temples um these guys again all these adornments are all modularized you can plop those in and out as as you like so are these guys um so there's a lot, there's a lot of clutter. Uh, tables and benches and stuff and chairs, some beds, uh, scrolls, jars, tankards, uh, lots of crates in various states of decay. Like I said, there's beds here, a couple, a couple of different options, duels and singles, lots of barrels in various states of decay. That's a, you know different benches, like I mentioned. Um, so you got these guys there's a bunch of different gears variants of gears as you can see um gears and cogs uh so then there are these sorts of additions to the walls that have openings so you can sort of get creative with blending your rock formations into like hidden entrances into your dungeons and stuff um, I like to see stuff like that because it allows for more complex level building. Um, a few different pillars. Uh, there's a few different chests, lots of different, co you see the cobweb, lots of different options for those. Um, so 
more ramparts, um, pallets. Again, all of these adornments on the walls are all are all modular. You can pull those off and stick those wherever you want. There's a lot of different treasure. You'll see these um, options in the, the treasure room in this level as we get to that near the end of the run through. Um, there's a couple of different, um, these guys, the um, uh, torch pillars. This part up here is independent from this part down here. These are two separate pieces. So again, modularizing things in ways that make intelligent sense. Uh, now we're starting to see some of the, uh, so statues, those are the statues that were outside, but they're also, they have various states of decay uh, different prefabs that have various states of decay for them. So I like to see that because, again, that gives more um, flexibility. You're starting to see some of those other weapons and stuff like that. So here um, they took a shield and just crossed two swords and put a banner. Those are all four different modular pieces. So, again, makes like makes level building really fun um because you you have a lot of options there's a few different level or levers these are independent pieces so the lever part itself uh can be animated uh, there's a lot of different rug options um let's see if i can so lots of different rock formations in here too uh that's a different statue a few different door options um up to the treasure room first. <laughs> so then you've got a bunch of, and you'll see even more of these in the forge demo scene, but these are supposed to be like power, like dwarven, you know how like in a lot of, a lot of medieval fantasy myths, dwarves have become sort of like the technological innovators. So these are supposed to be like battery or power cells, I believe. Uh, there's a few different options. You see another one there, but there's a couple other ones in a uh, in the next demo scene. We'll go through more FX, you know, lightning coil stuff like that. Um, these are this is removable, like that piece. You can pop this out, and it just is going to have that stand there all the way up to essentially that top part. So right there. So if you wanted to make that an interactable in your game, like you have to power up this Dwarven device, you can you can do that. Um, and they have empties. Do they have any empties in here? They don't have any empties in, in, in here, it looks like, but there are prefabs that that orange part is essentially dark. So it's supposed to be like an empty battery, quote unquote. Uh, you saw there's a few different types of tankards and stuff like that um so this is a good <laughs> a good room for like showing all the weapons um that this pack comes with so there's a few different uh you know blacksmithing uh prefabs but then you've got so those are the swords those are again independent uh swords and shield these are the spears from before then you've got a whole mess of axes and other swords and maces um short swords long swords great swords uh again a bunch of different axes um a few different options with the points and the ornateness of the of the heads on the axes and the hammers and stuff like that so obviously that one is not spiked this one is so those sorts of those aren't individual like the spikes here are not an individual piece but they're just two separate. This is all one hammer. That's an individual prefab. This is another hammer. That's an individual prefab. If that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> so a few different stairwell options. We've seen a couple of them now, and we're going to see a few, a couple more of them as we progress into uh, some other areas. So now we're in the treasure section. More corpses. So. There's a bunch of different, and this is one of the areas I mentioned, like the lighting is a little fucked up. But um, so here's a here's another barrel in this different state of decay. But there's like eight or nine different treasure prefabs. So all the way down to, it's really tough to see. Um, all the way down to the individual shield. Here we go. Individual coins to like clumped coins. 
to uh, stacked coins like we saw by that one corpse in the other room also right here to small piles like this and then there's like a few different options for larger piles and then these gems are also individual um, prefabs and you saw these actually in a previous area of this demo scene as large like set pieces underneath the walkways and stuff so just repurposing those in smart and creative ways and there's these large treasure chests um, the lids are independent so you can animate those um, you can see that sparkling over there so there's some gold sparkle fx it's a little hard to see with the lighting more banner options now let's run downstairs real quick because there's an area downstairs oh here's the individual coins so it's easier to see those there here's some levers that this is the same lever that was on the wall in the other room it's just scaled up slightly and put on the floor so again modular so you can do creative stuff with that um, so actually before we go down there let's do this uh, i think this was the room with no it was not maybe the, oh you know what it was actually in the hell scene i think where those um those purple crystals were larger also just oh there it is ah crap here's more of those crystals just in larger scale So, ah, here we go. Here's the rest of those crystals. So again, those are the same crystals, just scaled the hell up. There's actually a handful of variants. I don't remember how many, but there's a few variants for these. Um, so definitely well modularized there. These are actually the same um, walkways, the broken ones from in the the first demo scene um so again it's repurposed in smart ways and then that gets to sort of the end of this one um let uh, oh, let us do this real quick just hop in here we go so you can see how these i mentioned this a few times but these ornate pieces are all individual um so and then you've got a few different coin options. Uh, there are, like I said, individual coins as well. Um, and then we go out here to look at these guys. So again, these are all, you know, very intelligently chunked out in ways that um, allow for a designer or a level designer to really do some 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 cool stuff. Um, so let's go into the last uh level the forge level uh and then we'll end the video after this so this one um so take a second to compile complete there we go so uh a lot going on in this level a bunch of different fx um here you've got those same uh, uh benches and stuff like that um you've got again repurposing a lot of the same assets actually just to make a completely differently unique looking um uh, uh level so um these guys you know they just angle the same floor pieces down these guys i'll show this in a little bit but they have corner pieces um when we uh, before i end this i'll hop out into editor mode and show how they did that because that's again in my opinion a pretty smart way to to chunk some of the level stuff out. Same stairwells as before, same walls as before, just these ones don't have those ornate pieces on them. Um, there's a lot of factory pieces in here. So, uh, and then you've got, uh, where is it? Oh, they're there. You've got some animated, uh, you know, ore carrying pieces essentially, or um, prefabs. Um, so there's animation scripts already in here for you if you would like to use that stuff. Um, now, I want to showcase these houses uh, because these houses in this level, these are solid prefabs. 
However, um, they do have the individual wall and wall and ceiling pieces to make these into um, into actual uh, uh, larger or smaller components. Just for some reason, these are <laughs> these are specifically individual uh, or uh, you know non-individual rather um, uh, prefabs. So here's those chests I mentioned. Uh, this one is the same one as in the like the treasure room. It's just the thing is closed, so obviously you can animate them. The adornments on here are also just like on the walls. They are completely removable. So you can set up puzzles and stuff like that. Uh, you know, Matt, you, where you have to like, oh, this chest requires you to match, you know, these symbols or whatever the case is, however you want to set that up. Those are options. Um, more sort of uh, uh, storage, you know, stuff. I really want to find one of these empty batteries for you guys. Um, So there's a few more swords we didn't see before in here. Um, and we've got this guy up here. So this is the same throne that was in the treasure room. And this too is unfortunately one piece, but you can build out similar stuff with the pieces that they've provided. It's just that one is, is a solid piece. So. All right, so I am going to go in here real quick and we're just gonna, so if you can see, here it is. So the standard tiles that they use are in general the same size. So what they did was they took the width of two to make these sort of triangle pieces. Um, and these are rotatable, so you could actually, uh, uh, rotate this um but what they did essentially was they took the they took this size halved it and then uh added a little bit of extra to it to be able to have the downward staircase and then they just a standard tile um so <clears throat> And, and it fits in the scale. And all, like, the, the other thing I will say, I haven't mentioned this in a lot of other Cintiq Studio uh, reviews I've done, but all of their assets, or most of their assets at least, follow the same scaling. So, um, so if you have one, you're most likely going to be able to use it with another one. Uh, so this is that classic level design trick to make it seem more unique um these grates are also all modularized um and then doo -doo -doo. so over here like i said this is all one unfortunately um <clears throat> but having said that uh i'm going to have to um i think it's under environment uh somewhere in one of these you can see very clearly that the walls are available um props i don't think it's under props uh, of course it's taking forever to load but that's good you can sort of see just how many prefabs there are with this asset i don't think it's under props it's it's somewhere in one of these. There's a there's a wall that matches that wall, and then you can build it. It's not going to have the same angled top, although uh, you could now you'd be able to fake that with the sides. But having said that, the walls with the windows do exist, and you can build something similar to this. It would have been nice for them to add modularity for sort of the the roofs and the angled you know stuff here they didn't but again i'm not going to ding them on that um I, I think that the value the value for this asset is still there it's still highly valuable so um uh, even at 200 bucks i think it's still a valuable asset uh so if i were to give complaints if i were to give criticisms i'd say hey Sinteeth, 
batch that out or not batch it out, uh, uh, slice it out and then slice this one out because this is also one. So we can make our own versions of these. Um, but it's not, it's not make or break in my opinion. Um, I think with the amount of uh, variety and modularity you get with the rest of the asset, I think that, um, I think that, uh, I think that it's well worth it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's my review on the Dungeon Realms asset um, by Cinti Studios. If you have this asset, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you don't have it and you have questions that I'm able to answer, let me know. Uh, and I will see everyone in the next one.